Hey guys, so in the last video we uh, showed you how to uh, add drums to your tracks and uh, through the drum rack. You can add uh, samples to your pads and, and program your loops that way. Uh, so in this video we're going to talk about how you can add some character to those drums. Um, and we'll get into it right now. Uh, so the first way you can do that is by uh, manipulating the, vo the velocity setting on each individual pad here. Um, the bottom uh, on the simpler, we have underneath the, the volume section there, you can increase the velocity, and that's what the first thing we'll do. So right now, this is this is the, the, the sample by itself, the drum sample. So it's pretty good, uh, but this just is just a bit too rigid. Um, so what we want to do first is increase the velocity of our of our of our samples. So back over here, we'll increase the velocity underneath the volume by dragging it up all the way to 100. Um, and we'll just solo the drums right now. And actually, we'll actually I'll copy it. So I'll right click it and copy value to siblings so that all the other instruments, all the other samples, will have the velocity up boost up to 100. Um, I normally like to do it that way, just because I then that way I can adjust it further. Um, then it sounds like this now. So everything's a little bit louder, um, and we can now tweak it a little bit further. So with the velocity, every time you hit your note, it's gonna go according to how hard it's hit. So if we take the the drum here, let's we'll just solo this right now, and go to the drum here. Uh, underneath it. Um, this whole uh, there's this whole velocity editor that you can see here. Um, so now they're all pretty flat. Um, and now what we're going to want to do is just kind of boost it a little bit. So I'm going to take the first one here and just drag it up a bit more. So that way it's it should be a bit more like um like on the hit there. It's going to be a lighter and then a heavy, a lighter and then a heavy. Um, and actually I've I've done this before. I've done this already before. So uh, what you could do is just copy and paste it and it will duplicate it. But just to kind of show you that how uh, you can actually right click in this area here. I, so I found out that when I right click it doesn't show the actual menu or, that pops up. But if you right click it will. And there's an option called show note on velocity. Anyway, I've done, I've, I drew them all in, the velocities. So now it's going to sound something like this. So you can hear the kick. The first kick is going to be a bit uh, lighter and then the second one going to be a bit harder. Kind of give it like a boom, 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 ba, boom, ba. A little bit of a, a lighter and a harder. Um, now, in combination with the other ones, uh, we'll add them in too. So, and the cymbal, and the hi hat. Now, before, if I got rid of it, if I had to clap too. Now, once I see, like, if I get rid of it to go back to what it was before and turn it to off, you can hear that it's kind of it's back to being really flat again. I'll add it back. It has a bit more of a bounce to it, so that's 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 one way. So velocity is one way you can add a little bit more. Um, kind of like of a balance to your to your rhythms. Um, now the next thing we want to do is um, modulate the, the clips and, and the envelopes inside of the clips. Um, and this is kind of this will get you started and get you introduced to the idea of automating um, uh, your effects. So that way you don't have to always constantly be tweaking the knobs in the game in in the in in the program. I said game, <laughs> um, but I mean you, to you totally can tweak it like live if you wanted to. It's up to you, but um, sometimes it's a little easier if, if you're maybe if you're if you're producing rather than performing it. Um, but if you wanted to um, to say let's say uh, on our on our 16th on our on our hats here when it gets this part with the rolling pattern, so that let's say we wanted to have it pan left and right. Um, we'll what we'll do we'll go into the um, the the sample pad for that. And we will. Let me get rid of this real quick. Um, we'll click the pan option on the simpler, and then 
shift tab will, will actually instead of having to click back at the bottom here shift tab will actually be a way that you can bounce back and forth between the two without having to always click it uh, and you go back to this to your view here and then you want to click the envelope um, I guess I don't know what you call it view, uh, the envelope I don't know window here and you'll see that it changes the the um, the display here to um, an envelope that you can change uh, so from notes to your envelope and you can still see the notes back there but that helps you know where things are going to be so you can draw in your your envelopes here and manipulate it that way um, what, so like I said what we want to do is add a pan to the 16th note at the end to the to the to the hi hats at the end of the bar so let's go like left see and you, there's a little, there's a little um, uh, notifier it tells you how far right and how far left you're gonna go um, and just just kind of like to had to had to figure it out and like play with it so uh, to your tweak it to your liking um, and and the cool thing is, is that you shift tab again and we'll do it for the other hi hat as well so we'll add we'll click it again click the pan and it has it selected so that way when you go here it has it automatically selected in the envelope window and we'll bring it back to the right so when you click this this little drop down you can see all the the effects that you could possibly man, uh, manipulate um, and it'll, it'll show you the ones that you already have manipulated and if you to, to help it to to keep and oh yeah all, all this here to, and to keep it kind of simple you can just click show, only show auto adjusted envelopes because sometimes if you get too many um, things going on at once you just want to see just the ones you have selected it's, it kind of clears up uh, for you to make to, to navigate your stuff easier uh, so I'll just show all to so just because I like it that way. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is what it sounds like now. So, great. So it kind of now goes t -t 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 left and right and fires off that way. And you, can, it's a nice way to kind of give the listener uh, that little tickle in their ear and their brain. <laughs> Um, it's, an excite, it's like an exciter kind of thing. Um, so the next thing we can do is um, add. So we talked about the velocity, and now we talked about some modulations that can do. You can do now. You can modulate anything really. Um, you just want to get in the pan because that's a good, uh, noticeable thing. I can I can show you right away. Um, then there's also the la the last thing is actually your effects chain. So uh, in the drum rack, you can have return tracks and sentence just like in the main uh, view there uh, to get to that you want to click this bottom right um, this bottom right uh, option it's just an R in the drum rack you click it and you know, this little option comes up to the drop audio effects here so you say okay sure you grab a reverb and we'll put it down there and it'll add a reverb there now I'll quickly change some settings here um, just something like that for now be okay and so now you want to want now you're going to add a send to it. So you click this little S, and this will show and hide your sends. And let's put the clap on it, for example. So now, now when we play it, there's a echo. There's a reverb on it now. So there's with it. It's without it. So and well, that just kind of gets you an idea for the returns and effects. Um, I'll add a ping pong delay too, just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, diversity here. This is a really cool trick you can do. Uh, I'll grab the the I'll, and I'll send the the hats to that, and I'll even add a little bit of a reverb on the symbol too. But what we'll see, what we want to hear, this is the hat here, and this is the hat here. So we'll add both of them to the ping pong delay, so that. I'll increase that just a little bit more. Yeah, and then together. Shall the clap to it too?
And you can even add, um, if you wanted to, you can even send a send to a send. Send a send to a send. Yeah. Uh, you just right click on the actual, this options here is actually blurred out. But if you right click it and you click, oh, again, because you, you can't see the menu, but if you right click it, um, an option, a menu, a menu will pop up. And at the top says enable sends, uh, enable send and enable all sends. You want to click enable all sends. Uh, and then you can open them up to be sent to whatever you want. And this, like the same thing applies to the, the one in the return track. Uh, these ones are off right now, but you right click them and you can enable all sends and it'll open it up the same way. Um, so back to the drum rack, uh, we'll just, just for the fun of it, we'll just send uh, the ping pong delay to the reverb. Or wait, no, the ping pong delay to yeah the reverb. So send to A. And to kind of help you with the flow of that too, you can actually open up your drum rack. I think I don't know if I talked about it in the last video or not, but you click it here, and open it. It opens up your whole drum rack into um, tracks of their own. And from there, you can uh, modify it, and you can see the the corresponding. I'm, I'm moving the send A. It'll move it in the chain list there too. So I want to send to send A, and now it sounds like this. So all together, let's play it all together now. I had that one set up a little bit before I added uh, some 16th notes to it. I added the, the hi hats that went in the 16th note pattern uh, to kind of like give it a little bit more of a drive too. And I just launched it by uh, clicking the clip for it right there. And that's kind of like what I was talking about before when you can just, um, when you have all your, your parts of your song together, you can. Uh, play with them, bring them in and add them on, depending on however you want to build your song. I can even go back to the kick. It's just... And when I'm ready, I can just bring it back. So that was a little uh, video on how to show you how to add uh, some more uh, character to the drums that you have already. Um, we added velocity through the velocity and modulation of panning, the, the modul modulating the pans of your um, your clips and your instruments. You can and also adding actual effects. So we added a return send and a ping pong and reverb to uh, your drum rack, and that gives you a little bit more character from just going from that from this simple drum pattern. Just going from like, like this, and, and that's okay. But you add all this extra elements, it kind of gives it a little bit more um, of an interesting feel to it. Um, again, you don't have to add all these. You don't have to add any of these really. Um, but it just gives you um, an idea on what you can do uh, to uh, diversify your sounds a bit more. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.